Hello! Today we've got another makeup tutorial for you, obviously. Um, yeah, this time I wanted to do a look that was sort of out of my comfort zone because usually I'll go for warmer shades because they usually look better on me. Um, but this time I wanted to go for a blue smoky eye because, I don't know, I just love the color blue. I just don't like, usually like how it looks on me. Um, but this time I tried to combine it with a warm blush and warm shaded lips and yeah. So I think the result is actually a lot better than I expected. I actually like it, so let's get started. Just like last week, I started out with the Catrice Primer Fine Primer, um, which I pretty much spread out over my entire face. I basically put it anywhere where I get oily quick or where the makeup might crease, which is pretty much anywhere except for my jawline. And then for foundation, I use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Vanilla Rose, I think. Um, I'll just put everything down below in the description box as usual, you know, like the color names. And yeah, this time I just wanted to use one single pump of uh, foundation, which is another reason why I picked this one, because it covers really, really well. And my skin has some little, like, pieces of redness right now, so I didn't want to stuff my face into too much makeup today. And then I went on to concealer. Concealer I'm using as usual is uh, the Cadiz Camouflage Cream and this time I uh, obviously, you know, concealed my under eye area but uh, seeing as I didn't want to use shaper today I uh, did a lot of highlighting so I started out as you can see here underneath my eyes on my uh, cheekbones then also the bridge of my nose and my forehead a little bit also did it uh, on top of my eyebrows like, uh, like right about at the arch uh, but I forgot to film it so yeah also my chin as you can see here and also my jawline and then to continue on with the cream products i also used the makeup academy uh, whipped velvet blush in the shade chichi which i actually reviewed last monday along with a um, pale pink one but this time i wanted to use a darker one and yeah you could use your fingers to apply this product obviously but i prefer to use brushes just because i don't like touching my makeup products all the time i don't know just a hygiene thing And then for highlight, I also wanted to start out with a cream product, um, so I used this uh, CK Cream Eyeshadow, it actually is, yeah. It's actually an eyeshadow, but I just applied it as a highlighter here. And then it's finally time for powder, I'm using the Catrice Nude Illusion one as usual. And if at this point your concealer has creased a little bit, don't forget to actually, you know, blend it out a little bit again before, you know, accidentally setting it in creases, yeah. So yeah, I just use the dense brush to apply it anywhere where I get oily quickly. And then also on my jawline to, you know, sort of counter, contour, I don't know what it was called. It had an official name, but you know, like not contouring, but the reverse thing, yeah. Um, and then I just use the large powder brush to blend all the rest in. And then I also use the Undress Your Skin um, highlighter just to highlight some more. Then for the eyes, I start out with the Yves Rocher Eyeshadow Pencil in Bleu Nuit. Or however that's pronounced in French. It's a really nice shade of blue at any rate. It has tiny uh, glitters in it. I don't know if you can actually see it from this distance on camera. And I also applied it underneath the eye very carefully. And then for the crease area, I actually looked forward. Put a line there where my crease ends and then filled it in. Uh, that sort of prevents the whole looking up and suddenly all the crease color is invisible sort of thing. Yeah. I am being very careful with the product by the way, um, it could give a lot more color in one stroke but I didn't want to risk accidentally getting it somewhere where I didn't want it. And then I just blended it a little bit because I wanted it to be smoky and not, you know, have a straight line and edge of color. Yeah. Uh, then I used the Urban Decay Electric Palette and here I'm just using a fan brush to prevent myself from getting blue eyeshadow all over my cheeks. And I'm just really packing it on the eyelid here. But this is really the only part for which I needed my cheeks to be protected, or under eye area, really. So I decided to just use a fan brush because it's easy and quick. And using a smaller brush, I also applied it underneath my eye. Then I went on to a slightly paler shade of blue and a round brush. Well, yep. And applied it in my inner corners. And then I switched to, I think the other side of the same brush, is the dual ended brush. Anyway, a smaller brush and also applied it around the tear duct and underneath my eyes. I really sort of wanted it to sort of encircle the inner corner, I guess, yeah. 
And then I also applied it in the crease, uh, not as much as I did on the eyelid because I didn't want to like I didn't want to pack the color on because I still want the shimmer of the pencil to actually ahem, pardon be visible. And then I went on to silver again to highlight the inner corner. Like for true smoky eye, a highlight in the inner corner isn't actually officially needed, but I just prefer how it looks and I love glitter and this is just a really 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 glittery silver. So yeah. Also, I just think it just, I don't know, it suits my eyes better if I do actually have a highlight in the inner corner. And then I actually went on to some natural colors. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte Palette. And I just used the paler shade to highlight underneath my eyebrows. And then I used the taupe shade to sort of blend the blue and the eyebrow highlight together. Yeah. Just to make it look a little bit softer. And then it was time for the waterline. I used the Bijou uh, Color Biggie in a pink shade. I'll just leave the number in the description box because I don't actually remember it. But yeah, I just used that to highlight my waterline, obviously. You could also use a dark shade, but I wanted to keep it like spring appropriate and sort of light. Uh, then I used this mascara, the Rimmel Scandalized Liquid Flex Mascara, which I absolutely love. But this one is sort of drying out, so I'm trying to use it as often as possible now to, you know, actually have it. Completely empty before it goes completely dried out because it would be a waste. And yeah, then it's time for eyebrows. I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade in chocolate. And I thought this time I'd just show you a little bit more of how I feel in my eyebrows. Again, I think eyebrows are a very personal thing in terms of how you want them to look. So, you know, yeah. Anyone does them in their own way, but this is how I do it. It's usually how it starts to fill in or basically make a line at the bottom. Then make another line on the top of the, the like, little... End of it, yep. Yeah. And then I just fill in the rest carefully. And I basically make lighter strokes the more I get to the center of my face because I want it to be paler. Then I just comb all the hairs up and then I use the tail end of the brush. Just push the hairs at the, the, the hairs at the end down again. And then it's time for lip gloss. I'm using Oh My Gloss by uh, Rimmel in the shade Ooh La La, which looks red. Then on the lips, it's sort of more a, a either pinkish red or reddish pink. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, to me it looks very pink. Um, at any rate, I really like it. It's a really nice warm shade. And yeah, then it's time to uh, throw my bangs out of their hair clip. And I also thought I'd show you this time what perfume I used today. Um, which is this one by Yves Rocher. It's called Moment de Bonheur, but then in French. I'm bad at French. And yeah, I never apply too much perfume because then I think it smells too strongly, but yeah. And that's how the final look looks. And yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! It And then, uh, yeah, just blended it. As you can see, it's not a very black black. But yeah, it works. Then I use this white metallic eye pencil by Essence in my waterline.